YouTube. Hi, my name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. Hey, today's video we're going to talk about a simple easy way to preheat your engine's water and oil. Hm. Let's get into it, come on. So, you know, think about it. Um, a race car, you need to get the engine up to temp, right? Um, gearboxes that have dry sumps in them, you need to get the gearbox up to temp, its oil system, that kind of thing as well. But, but a heavy focus on engine and you, water and oil temperatures are pretty important that you get, you get the engine up to temperature before you just go out on track and stick your foot into it. So, <laughs> um, you know, over the years I've had, I've had pretty high-end race cars where they required you to preheat the engine. Um, I'm thinking of uh, methanol engines in my champ cars, that kind of thing. You would, uh, you would have this apparatus that you would plug into your um, coolant system uh, and you would heat your coolant system separately. And the same thing with the oil um, itself. And you would, you would let the engine's water and oil um, completely get up to temperature before you would even turn the thing over. So that was a, um, a pretty normal thing for some of the high-end engines. Now, you know, in this Formula 1000 race car, and here's the race car here if you haven't seen it, um, this is a motorcycle engine. You know, it's a superbike motor, right? So it's a 1K or a 1 liter uh, superbike motor. You know, we rev these things to 14,000 RPM. It's an aluminum engine. It's normal or very good, um, you know, standard practice to always preheat your engine before you get out on track. So I think everybody knows that, right? What surprised me, looking at data uh, when I changed my motors out here, was how much time my engine actually sat there and just idle, meaning it's sitting there and running just to get heat in it. And, you know, I find that kind of a waste. And, um, <laughs> you know, I thought, you know, there's got to be a better way to do it. And, of course, I'm thinking about, you know, my old champ cars, that type of thing. So what am I going to do? Let me show you this kind of a, let's just say, a DIY, um, you know, approach, right? So here's what I have. I have a, a little commercial or res residential water tank or heater um, used, intended for homes. And this, I think, gets up to about 180 degrees. So what I've done for the water system itself is I put a couple quick connect uh, fittings. Let me, uh, let me go over here and show you the type of fittings. Um, if you can see this, these are um, very nice fittings. They'll work for, obviously, water, um, oil and fluids, uh, that type of thing. Um, so I'm using those within the, the race car itself. So what I did is I tapped into two different points of the water system on the race car, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, but here's the idea. Is, again, I'm thinking it's very similar to what I had for the Champ car. I have a small little water pump external, and I could use the car's electric water pump but I thought, eh, might as well just put one here and then let it do its own thing. So you plug this thing in, you plug both lines in to the appropriate um, fitting on the um, race car, right? You power it on, including the water pump, <laughs> and you just let it sit there and run and run and run. And um, you can definitely tell it gets up to temperature. Um, yeah, you know, it's like a 30 minute type of thing um, to get up to temperature. So, and then when you're done, you just unplug it, obviously turn it off and unplug it and put it, get it out of the way. So that's for the water. Now for the, for the oil system, so I have a dry sump tank. I did not feel like putting a special fitting on the tank and pulling that apart. And you know, when you, when you uh, try to weld aluminum, metal for that matter of any type, where you have residue oil and whatever not over time, it's always a pain in the rear end. Uh, to keep it clean enough to actually try to have a, a good weld. I didn't want to bother with that. So, 
here's what I'm doing. Pretty simple. So, and I'll have all these parts um, at the bottom of the video here, by the way. So this is a, this is a um, an oil heater itself, and it can be completely submerged, um, so submersible. And all I'm doing is taking off my um, fitting for my oil tank itself. I drop this in my tank, plug it in, <laughs> and uh, let it sit there just like the water and just get it nice and warm and so on. So I'm gonna try this for a little while, see if I like it. Um, when I take the bodywork off here, I'll show you how I have it all fitted when I'm warming the engine that way. And um, who knows, maybe it will work great. Maybe it's a waste of time. Don't know, but um, I'll, I'll uh, keep you updated, okay? So let me get the bodywork off um, and get this plugged in so we can start to do the, uh, the preheating. So let me show you the uh, DIY uh, water and oil heating approach that I'm doing, right? So here's this little two and a half gallon, again, it's a residential hot water heater, or hot water tank, right? So I have it up on max. Um, I have the, um, the two lines, so you have an in and an out going to these dry brake fittings in the uh, water system, right? And I can definitely feel heat for sure building in the radiator. So that's what that's doing. I'm just gonna let it sit here and run for a while. And then in parallel, I have this, this it is submersible, right? This oil um, heater, I just drop it inside my um, oil tank itself. So I'm just letting it warm up before I even turn, turn the motor over, right? So <laughs> seems to be working well. Um, let me continue with this. I'll finally fire it up and then I'll talk to you about um, kind of the starting temperatures when I let it run for about a half an hour, okay? All right, so status. The DIY racers water heater, oil heater approach. Hey, it actually worked pretty well. Uh, when I fired up the engine, um, I, I, I let it um, heat for about 20 minutes. Uh, that's all that I, I, I warmed the engine up. When I fired it up, I had about uh, 100 degrees in oil temp, and I had, um, what was it? I think it was 120, 130 degrees in water temp. Um, I, you know, I think if I let her sit longer, probably another maybe 20 minutes or more, um, it would help. But, uh, you know, you might want to consider something like this, at least in the really cold days um, where you want to get some heat in your engine. You know, this might be the way to go instead of just sitting there running uh, indefinitely in the pits or whatever not. But um, anyway, hopefully, hopefully you found this of interest. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so, would you? I'd appreciate that. Until next time, ciao.